بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحباب continuing on our series of good deeds for the day the good deeds that we can do this week to try to make some more brightness in our lives and gain forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because in fact that's what it's all about it's about coming closer to Allah azza wa jal the reason that we do things in this life is to come closer to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to have his forgiveness to gain his jinnah and and that is a, a productive and fruitful life and may Allah bless us with that and bless us with tawfiq wal ikhlas wa thabar amin ya rabbil alamin Listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which illustrates for us the importance of charity. The deed of today is charity in its various forms. There are so many ways in which we can give charity in Islam. And in one of the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said, "Give in charity before before you are, uh, you know, in in a state when you are uh, loving your wealth, and when you're in a state when you need wealth. You need you may be in a in fact, in need of charity yourself, possibly, or in a time of, of difficulty, and you feel attached to your wealth, that this is even the best time to give in charity. And this is from the Hadi of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Let's listen to another hadith, the hadith of Abi Dhar, radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal, qal nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uridat alayya al-a'mal ummati, حسنها وسيتها فوجدت في محاسن أعمالها الأذى يماط عن طريق ووجدت في في مساواء أعمالها نخاة نخاعة تكون في في المسجد لا تدفن رواه مسلم Abidar radiallahu ta'ala and who reported the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, The deeds of my people, good and bad, were presented for me. And I found the removal of harmful objects from the road among their good deeds. And flim which might be in a mosque left unburied among their evil deeds. And this was collected in Sahih Muslim. So from this hadith, it's mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has listed in virtue even the good deed which is for the benefit of people or can save them from being the losers. And the opposite, of course, however small it may be, is reckoned as mischief. And this hadith shows us that one of the good deeds that we can do to attain the pleasure of Allah azza wa jal and prevents us from the evil deeds is something very small. Another benefit of this hadith, this hadith shows us to be clean in the, in the masajid and not to litter in there because it is a place of sacredness. And if something filthy is found in the masjid, we should strive our best quickly to remove it. And this will be on your scale of good deeds. This is something very small. And some. So how much so, if the masjid is sacred, and a place of cleanliness, how much more important is it not to do the evil that we see these people who bomb uh, the mosques and kill the believers and fight the believers in those places? So, Ayyul Ahbab, strive to do even the smallest things because you don't know the reward you'll receive from your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the various various ways in which we can give charity. This is also a hadith of Abi Dhar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Anna nasin qalu ya Rasulullah dhahaba ahla al-dhuthur bil ujur yusalluna kama nusalli wa yusumuna kama nusum wa yatasaddaquna bi fudul a'malihim qal أَوَلَيْسَ قَدْ جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مَا تَصَدَّقُونَ بِهِ إِنَّ بِكُلِّ تَصْبِيحَةٍ صَدَقَةٍ وَكُلُّ تَكْبِيرَةٍ صَدَقَةٍ وَكُلُّ تَحْمِيدٍ تَحْمِيدَةٍ صَدَقَةٍ وَكُلُّ تَحْلِيلَةٍ صَدَقَةٍ وَأَمَّا بِمَعْرُوفٍ صَدَقَةٍ وَالنَّاحِيَةُ الْمُنْكَرُ صَدَقَةٍ وَفِي بُدْعٍ 
أهدكم صدقة قالوا يا رسول الله أيأتي أهدنا شهوته ويكون له فيها أجر قال أرأيتم لو وضعها في حرام أكان عليه وزر فكذلك إذا وضعها في الحلال كان له أجر رواه مسلم In this hadith of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم The hadith of Abi Dhar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who reported some people said to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم O messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم The rich have taken away all the reward They observe salat as we do and give in charity out of their surplus wealth Upon this he صلى الله عليه وسلم said has Allah not prescribed for you a course following which you can also give sadaqah? In every declaration of the glorification of Allah, meaning saying subhanallah, there is sadaqah. And in every takbir, saying Allahu Akbar, is sadaqah. And in every celebration of praise, saying alhamdulillah, is sadaqah. And in every declaration that he is one, la ilaha illallah, is sadaqah. And in joining uh, good, is sadaka and in forbidding evil is sadaka and in man's sexual intercourse with his wife there is sadaka they the companions radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in said o messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is there reward for him who satisfies his sexual need amongst us he salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi said you see if he were to satisfy it with something forbidden would it not be a sin on his part similarly if he were to satisfy it legally, he will be rewarded. Ru'ahu Muslim. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it illustrates for us many things. One of the things is the enthusiasm of the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'in, of striving to do good deeds. And they made a, it was a, it was a race. They raced to khair. The companions, radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'in, they strove and and competed to do good deeds secondly this hadith of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam it shows us uh that uh righteousness and good and goodness if, if it's done with intention meaning everything that allah loves and is pleased with as shaykh al-islam ibn taymiyyah mentioned about good deeds or about uh worship is that if, if it involves obedience to Allah and forbids disobedience to Allah, then this is something uh, which a person will be rewarded with and a report and, and is a good deed and is a form of, of charity. Another benefit of this hadith is we see that there are various ways to give charity, sadaqah, because the Prophet ﷺ mentioned those things. As the companions, those companions that were uh, didn't have the same wealth as, as those others, they said, that they give from their the that from from the best of their wealth because they have a lot of wealth. And then the Prophet this وسلم, said upon this, uh, related to this, he said, Has Allah not prescribed for you a course following which you can also give sadaqa? Meaning you can give sadaqa without wealth. And then he mentioned various ways through dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal that this is a type of sadaqah by saying subhanallah, glorifying Allah, that's sadaqah. Making takbir, Allahu Akbar, that's sadaqah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, and that's sadaqah. Walla ilaha illallah is sadaqah. All of those ways, all of us are able, most of us at least are able to do that unless we no longer have the ability to speak. And even then, we'll be our intention will be recorded. So if you have the intention and you're striving to the utmost of your ability to at least make dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal and give sadaqah, even if it's a date today, give someone a date, give someone a raisin, anything to, to, to get some forgiveness for your sins and to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to fulfill that good deed that we can all do. It's very easy. And also, as we know from another hadith, as the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that even smiling, you know, that this is a kind of, uh, this is a good deed, and this is a type of sadaqah, in fact. And that, as was mentioned in the same hadith we were just mentioning, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, قَالَ عَلَيْهِ salatu wa salam, 
وأمن بمعروف صدقة وناهينا منكر صدقة So that means that whenever you command something to the command the good whenever you order enjoin good in one way or another encourage your brothers and sisters to pray and encourage uh, people to be kind to one another encourage someone to visit their neighbor encourage someone to give charity encourage someone to do anything good that pleases Allah then that's sadaqah that's a type of sadaqah to put on your account and anytime you enjoin you you forbid the evil that if you see a wrong, you correct that. Brother, you shouldn't smoke. Sister, you should try to wear your hijab. Uh, so-and-so, try get, move away from zina. So-and-so, don't drink that alcohol. Maybe we can help you get in a program. Maybe we can help you with this. These are ways of sadaqah because you are enjoining the good and forbidding the evil. And the messenger, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi, said, wa amir bi maruf sadaqah. He said that commanding the good is charity and prohibiting evil is charity. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to give some form of charity this very day and every day of our lives.